Hi, I'm Zen. Are you ready to submit your consolidated invoice? Now, you probably will be asking me, what is consolidated invoice? Well, you know what? Sometimes when you sell certain things to your customer, whether it's goods or services, well, if your customer does not require an e-invoice from you, what you can do is you can just issue a normal receipt, normal bill to this customer, but thereafter, you would have to consolidate. Yes, you have to aggregate all these normal receipts, normal bills on a monthly basis and issue a consolidated invoice. Now, this consolidated invoice has to be issued after the month end, but not later than the first seven days of the next month. So that is consolidated invoice. But well, you probably would have also heard about this six month relaxation period, right? Now, what is this six month relaxation period? Well, actually during every mandatory implementation phase for e-invoice, everyone would have a six month relaxation period at the beginning of this mandatory implementation date for you to only issue consolidated invoice. So what does that mean? It means even if your buyer requests for an invoice, you can choose to not give a transactional invoice, just issue a normal receipt or a normal bill, but you will do a consolidated invoice for every month's sales, yeah? And this is applicable for all industries. Yes, that is what we mean by six months relaxation period for you to just issue consolidated invoice. Now, we were saying that a consolidated invoice has to be submitted by the first seven days of the month, right? After the month end, you have seven days. So you know what? Now it's the time for you to prepare and submit your consolidated invoice. So now, today I will show you how to use the My Invoice portal and issue this consolidated invoice. Now, let's look at how do we do it. Now, first of all, if you go into the My Invoice portal, now this is what you will see. Now, this is the My Invoice portal. And what you should do is go to New Document. Yep, because you will click New Document to issue a new e-invoice, yeah? So over here, under the type of invoice, well, you will select Invoice because a consolidated invoice is also an invoice. Now, at the document version, we'll just select the latest version, that is version 1.1. Then, click Start. Now, thereafter, you'll be asked to put in your invoice code, which is actually the internal reference number. So, let's say if you have your internal reference number, well, you can just override it, well, and just put your own internal reference number. For example, you may want to call it CONINV-001. Okay, this is my internet reference number for my consolidated invoice. Then for the date and time you should, if you want to override it, well, you can insert your own date and time, but well, I'll just leave it to, you know, for me, I'll just let it generate automatically for me. So I will not override this one. Then I'll just click continue. Okay. Thereafter, you will come to your supplier's details. Yeah, just look at your name, the tax identification number, business registration number, everything has been pre-filled because all these things were already pre-filled by you when you activate your e-invoice account. But well, you have to make sure that you use the correct MSIC code, you know, like our firm, you know, uh, we are an accounting firm, so we use 69200. And of course, for the business activity description, well, we are doing accounting, bookkeeping, and auditing activities well so this is the correct business activity description and of course the email address telephone number everything has been pre-filled now what is most important here is buyer's details now if this is a consolidated invoice it is actually sales for many many different customers so what do i fill in when it comes to buyer's details simple look at this at ID type, I'll select NRIC, yeah, NRIC. And the registration number, I'll just put NA, yes. NA stands for not applicable. And what about the TIN, the tax identification number? There's so many buyers, so whose TIN should I put in? Don't worry, you don't have to put in anyone's TIN because what you can do is you can put EI nine zeros. And so let's count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine than one zero. Yes, this is the general team when you issue a consolidated invoice. Then I'll just click validate. 
done, validated. Now, now you can fill in the name, the address, everything. Now, because this is a consolidated invoice, you do not put in a name, but you put general public. Yes, you put general public for consolidated invoice. Now, what about address? Just put an A will do. You see, once you put an A, the rest of the address will be all grayed out. Yeah, so you won't be able to fill up anything because for consolidated invoice, you should fill an A, not applicable for address. Then click continue. Now, now you will come to this line item where you have to select your currency. But of course, this is simulation ringgit. So yeah, it's simulation ringgit. I don't have to change it. Then I will have to click add line over here. So now let's click add line and you will now have to put in your classification code. Now for consolidated invoice, the code used is 004. You see, for consolidated invoice. So I'll just click that. Then when it comes to description of product or service, now let me tell you what. Normally for a consolidated invoice, you will put in receipt number. Yes, because you will issue normal receipts, right? You will put in the receipt number. But during this six month relaxation period, you can choose to put in anything in the description. It doesn't have to be the receipt number. So you probably want to say, okay, total sales for the month of August 2024. Yeah, I probably would just want to say that. Total sales for the month of August 2024. Now then, what about quantity and measurement? Okay, I'll just put quantity is one. Measurement unit, well, I'll just call it unit. Yeah, I'll just select unit, done. Now, what about the unit price? Unit price should be the total amount, yeah, total sales for the month of August 2024. So, well, let me just put in the price over here. Okay, then, okay, sales amount is there. Um, any discounts? Well, no discounts given. Any other fees or charges? Nope. Now, when it comes to taxes, remember, this is a mandatory field. So, even if you say, hey, I'm not charging any tax, I will still have to select this add tax and I will still have to select not applicable. Remember, even if there's no tax charge, you have to select not applicable. But well, in our line of service, there is service tax, yeah? So I'll have to select service tax. So I'll select service tax. Then I'll just put in the tax rate. Now it's 8% service tax right now. So I put in 8% and the tax amount will be automatically calculated. Okay, now there's no amount exempted from tax, so everything over here is not applicable. Then it comes to total excluding tax amount, it has been filled, then done, I'll just click add. All right, now once I've clicked add, now you can see now this line item, I have my classification code over here, consolidated invoice, the description, you know, the quantity is one, yeah, and of course I have got my measurement and the subtotal. Then, yep, including tax amount. Yeah, this is my total amount including tax. And that's the total payable amount as well. Just click continue. Now, after I've clicked continue, I'll just look at, hey, do I want to put in all this other additional information like frequent bill information? Nope, no need. Payment and prepayment information? Nope, no need. Because all these are optional fields. I can just leave them blank. Shipping information? Nah, all right. There's no shipping over here. Just leave them blank. Import and export information, nope, not applicable, leave them blank, then I have to just click continue. Now, then it comes to the summary where I have to look at everything again. So I'll check everything again. This is a summary, look at it, this is a summary. I've got my invoice number, you know, my supplier's information, the buyer's information, then the line item, the pricing, the tax amount, and of course the total amount including tax and total payable amount. Now if everything is okay, yeah, when everything is okay, just click this sign and submit document. Right, then I'll be brought to this page where I have to do a digital signature. So what is digital signature? It means filling up your username and password again. So what I'll do is I'll just put in my ID type, that's identification number, key in my IC number, of course. Then I will put in my password, yeah, to digitally sign it. Remember to check this box, yeah, you gotta check this box to agree, then click submit. All right, so now let's see, it is submitted. Well, it says document submitted, yeah. Document is submitted, you know, it was uh, successfully submitted and will be processed. This is the submission ID, all right. So then, done, you know, I just have to click finish. So now you probably will be asking, hey, so where do I see this consolidated invoice after I've submitted it? Easy. See, over here, there is this tab called document. Just click documents 
and you will be able to see the consolidated invoice that I have just issued. This was the one that I have just issued, yeah? So if you wanna look into, hey, how does it look like right now? Look at this UUID over here, just click into it and well you'll be able to see the summary all the details about this consolidated invoice and you say hey i need to print out or i need to save a copy you know um, for future reference now what you do is you can click print okay so once you click print over here you will be getting this pdf copy yeah this pdf copy of the consolidated invoice so this is how a consolidated invoice look like yeah with all the details all right got it so there you go this is how you submit a consolidated invoice so remember you only have the first seven days of the month for you to do the consolidated invoice for your previous month so don't be late do it by the seven of the month all right i'll see you next time in my other videos take care bye bye